Hey guys, Bobbery18 here, and welcome back to more Sonic Generations. In the last part, we started on the modern era with Crisis City, and in this part, we'll be doing the second level of it with, uh, well, you can see the title here, it's Rooftop Run. The only reason you're seeing that is because I had a failed recording, but I didn't actually, like, go through the whole stage. Um, but if, even if you go on the stage then exit it, it'll still show the title when you come back out, so... It's basically like I never did the stage, but it kind of is because the title's here, but nothing else changed. Like, even the next level isn't open yet, so yeah. So, this is quite possibly my favorite level in this game. I think it probably is, actually, because I enjoy both classic and modern Sonic's levels in this in this um, stage. Like, usually I only enjoy classics, kind of, and then... I mean, I mean, it's still great, but I mean... I don't enjoy classics as much as I do moderns, and no, with this one I enjoy both, like, pretty much equally. Like, they're both really awesome levels, so yeah. Um, I, yeah, like I said, we would get to my favorite level, um, soon, and this is it. Uh, it's from Sonic Unleashed, as I mentioned in the last part, I think. But it was one of the daytime st well, I think each level actually had a daytime and a nighttime stage. I, th I, th I think that's how it worked. I'm not, I'm not really sure. I haven't really seen, like, anything of Sonic Unleashed, and I haven't played it myself, so I'm guessing that's how it worked, kind of. I don't know. Anyway, also, um, as they are sort of, like, re revamping the levels, they made, they got this level, like, into, instead of just, like, being, uh, like, another city, it's sort of like a festival now, in, unlike in the original version, so that's pretty cool. It has, like, uh, well, for one, they, it has, like, these balloons that you can bounce on, which sort of launch you pretty far, actually. They, al they almost seem like a replacement to the clouds in Sky Sanctuary, and, oh, crap. I was trying to get up there because I think there's a red ring up there if you go on the Emperor Path, but I didn't make it, so, oh well. And you can't really jump back, yeah, it's right there. You can't really jump back, well, I guess I could if I really wanted to. But then I'd have to go back, and it would just sort of break the flow of the video, and I don't think I really want to do that. <laughs> so yeah, um, that mostly, mostly why I like this, these, both these levels actually, is just because this level has a lot of gimmicks. I mean, especially for like a Sonic game, I guess. I mean, as well as this Donkey Kong Country, but no, I like it a lot because it has a few, I mean, like really unique level gimmick sort of thing. I, I know most people don't usually like level gimmicks, but I, like I've mentioned in my Donkey Kong Country 3 Let's Play, I love them. It just adds to how each level can be more unique than the last, I guess. And I'm doing terrible in this part. You're supposed to just run through there and not even bother about anything else, but no, I waited like a fool, I guess. I guess that isn't... <laughs> I guess that you're supposed to be Sonic and go fast, so yeah. But if you go up here and you are patient, I guess for once, there's a red ring here, and there should be, and well, that uh, that switch opened a spring here, which I guess I'll go into just because it's right here. Well, if I can get into it, just jump right at the peak of your jump, and if you get up here, your Sonic is able to push one of these barrels to himself, or for himself. Also, I think I heard somewhere that this uh, section with the barrels is based on the nighttime um, version of this level in Sonic Unleashed, so yeah, I guess each... Each level did have a nighttime and a daytime version, if that's what I'm getting out of that. So I guess that's cool. They incorporated elements of something that, that they didn't even think, or that people didn't think was that great, and then they changed it into something that Sonic himself can do. I mean, like without being a werehog, <laughs> which kind of sounds like some sort of pig almost. But yeah. Anyway, as you saw, like that was the first gimmick there. Those, um, those, um. Yeah, the, the barrel section. Yeah, that's what I was trying to think of. And then the second section here is, like, this clock area, kind of. I don't really know. At least see when we get farther up it, but it's, it's pretty cool. You get to, like, go inside of a clock, and it's just... I don't know. It's just really cool to be able to... I, I don't know. It's just... You have to kind of play it for yourself. Oh, crap. I missed the red ring, but... I didn't think that would launch me all the way up here, admittedly, but... It's just sort of one of those things where you have to play for yourself to actually see how cool it is. I mean, well, no, I guess not see how cool it is, just experience it, I guess, and I'm saying that like it's some sort of musical or something, you have to experience it for yourself, but no. I mean, not that that's bad or anything. I, I'm, no, I'm not saying it like that, but, you know. Anyway, here it is. Uh, you want to jump back. Uh, the controls on this can be kind of weird. It's almost like 
I don't know, like, something in Mario would do, almost, admittedly. So anyway, the, the red, last red ring is up there, but I usually don't go for it just because I don't... I don't think it's not... I don't think it's worth it. I'll go for it in the guide, obviously, but not here. So it would just take too long. And I probably almost die doing it, I feel like, so yeah. So they actually bring back a, like, that that pipe gimmick sort of thing from Chemical Plant, so that's pretty cool. Oh, you're not supposed to be here. Maybe I'm just supposed to spin dash. That might work. Anyway... So yeah, that was another gimmick, and I don't know, I just really like it, and it's over. Plus, it's not that long. I think Crisis City was actually longer than this, and there's not a lot of bottomless pits. Which, I mean, I guess it wouldn't really make sense for a classic Sonic level anyway, but yeah. That is Classics level, which I really enjoy, especially for a classic level. Because, you know, I'll, I do enjoy most of the classic levels, but this one, it just... It just piqued my interest more than the other ones, I guess you could say. <laughs> but I do, I do really like the modern level as well, which we'll get to now. And for some reason, the letters are always are gold, as, even if you don't get an S rank. As you noticed, uh, the the letters for the level outside the in the white world space are gold if you get an S rank. So I guess that's how you could tell. Otherwise, they're just like unique colors to that level. But anyway, uh, right here, oh, I missed that uh, rainbow ring, but I did get the red ring there. So yeah. Um, yeah, this is Modern's level. And as you see, there's these robots from Sonic Unleashed. I think they're from Sonic Unleashed. They probably are. I mean, that's what they usually bring back for the games. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> anyway, they also have these, uh, guillotine... Not really guillotine, more like, uh, hack saws, kind of? I, I don't know. They're just, like, giant saw sort of things, and they will hurt you if you touch it, obviously. If you want to get another red ring, you can go up here. That was weird Sonic was like... <laughs> just... Bouncing one position. Oh, crap. I want to get up there because I like the upper path more. Stop preventing me speed boosters. For once, I don't want to go fast, fast, fast. Oh. Look at all those rings flying. Uh, yeah. So you kind of have to be patient. Those... I'm just going to call them guillotines because I don't know. I know what a guillotine is. It's that thing where they used to, like, chop off your head. But I know that's not that. Well, I guess it could be. But it looks like it to me. It reminds me of it. Anyway, now we have this section, which I think was also in mod in uh, the original uh, Sonic Unleashed version of the stage. Uh, except I think it was more at the end. Also, I've I've seen footage of Sonic Unleashed version of of Rooftop Rum, and I gotta say, it's like it, it kind of goes on for a while, probably like five, probably longer than five minutes. Actually, it's a lot longer than this version of the stage. I gotta say that. So yeah, I do like this one more from what I've seen. Alright, I, I guess it would- it looks better, in my opinion. Then again, it is a later game, but I mean, not not in terms of visuals, just in terms of gameplay in general. Oh, crap. What? Sonic didn't even, like, come on to that. He just, like, automatically died. That was weird. Oh, I gotta get the red ring again. Not that I care too much, but, you know, if, I, it's, if it's there, I may as well. I think those booster things were also from Sonic Unleashed. And they brought it back in colors, I remember, because I played a stage where those were in it. It's sort of like you just have to... I don't know, like... Like, plan out which direction you're going, so if you take too long, um, you'll, like, fall out, fall out of them, I don't know, it's really weird. Anyway, I think this, I think, <laughs> people have said this before, and I think the only reason that shot is in the game is for the trailers, honestly. <laughs> it just seems like the sort of thing that would be in there for, just for trailer's sake, and that, that was in the background, that didn't hit me. I mean, it did, but I don't think it should have, it seemed almost unfair. Sometimes it can be kind of hard to judge when the guillotine things are out of the way, too. I don't know. Oh, did I grab that red ring? Oh, uh, no, no, no. Well, oh. I did not know the section was down here. Well, that's new. <laughs> I'm discovering something new in a level. That's that's kind of cool, admittedly. I guess, see, now you're even incorporating new elements that I didn't even know was here. That's that's pretty amazing. I honestly had no idea that... I, th I honestly thought there was death down there. Then again, there wasn't a orange warning death hedgehog platform thing. Yeah, like that. So I guess maybe I, I, I sort of judged it too soon, but... I mean, what was I to expect? It just looked like a blind jump, almost. Anyway, life right out in the open there, and anyway- What? No! I- You didn't walk onto it! My voice just went really high right there. Jeez, why is it all the levels that I really like I'm sucking at? For Seaside Hill, now this? Ugh. I think I didn't do that great at Crisis City either, which isn't that hard. Of course, you know, because I'm recording it, but, you know, that's bound to happen anyway. Ugh. 
No, get over. Oh yeah, this section I think was also in the original Sonic Unleashed, except I think this was at the end as well. I missed that red ring. I know I missed that red ring, because I... Sometimes I, like that one in City Escape I, that I thought I didn't get by going around the corner. I still did get it, but I didn't hear it because it makes a sound when you collect a red ring, but I didn't have my sound on, obviously, so yeah. What you want to do for this part is to try and boost into the... Uh, into the robots if you can to destroy the upper robots, and if you manage to destroy all of them, it, the blimp thing up there will will spurt out a lot of coins, or er, not coins, <laughs> rings. I'm honestly kind of uh, amazed that was the first time I confused those two, but yeah, that that's what'll happen, so that's kind of cool if you need more rings or something, but yeah, that is Rooftop Run. Both great levels. I know I sort of failed at it, and wow, I only missed that one red ring on that um, speedy section there, so... Now we cleared it, and we will free another one of our friends. Thanks, Sonic. You know, I got a hunch someone or something is controlling that monster. Yes, so now we freed Vector the Crocodile. I think he first appeared in Knuckles Chaotix as well. And by as well, I mean also in um, referring to Espio, I guess. But yeah, I don't know what he has to do with Rooftop Run, but you know, I'm not going to question it. So anyway, in the next part of Sonic Generations, we will be doing the last level of the modern era, which is a level from Sonic Colors, which I guess makes sense and since that game came out like only one year before Sonic Generations did. So it makes sense that it would be the final level if they're going in chronological order, which they are. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you then.